So hello and welcome to Facepalm Time episode 3 and this one's gonna be a bit unique because I don't have any Throne of Thunder footage I decided hey let's just record us running challenge modes we've been talking about this for a long time but we never really got to it and since I've changed guilds I was like hey guys you know wanna do some challenge modes and they were like yeah you know, why not but we need a healer I'm like yeah well I can try I now have a restoration of spec so I can try and the reason for this whole thing is yesterday we we're supposed to just run through throne of thunder as fast as possible because our healer is going on a vacation and he's not gonna be here on sunday which is our raid night but in the end we ended up progressing magera and i wanted to record um iron quan so i had no footage and i was like hmm damn and then we were like yay want to do the challenge modes we can do them tomorrow i was like okay 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 so <clears throat> I went to Klaxi, I bought the Amber thing that encases you in Amber for 10 seconds and restores your full mana bar, which is essential, I feel. And that's why I'm actually using so much mana on every fight, because I know I can. Now, today, this was recorded today, we did uh, Temple of the Jade Serpent, gold, yay. Scarlet Hawks and Scarlet Morris 3, both gold. In this footage, we did not finish the dungeon. This was actually the first time we got to the last boss. This was, I think, our sixth run through this. And we just went there, all, yeah, let's pull the boss. We have, like, I don't know, three minutes, something like that. We pull the boss, and suddenly we get swarmed from both sides because we did not know that the dudes in the left wing and the right wing pull as well. So we just die, or like, oh, oh, balls we did <laughs> but in the end we actually finished this dungeon and i must say i enjoyed it quite a bit now i've healed previously i've healed through the entirety of cataclysm actually and i healed on durham heroic and a few more bosses i think so i've actually healed in a raid environment but it was never as enjoyable as this because you're the only healer stuff really hurts and to be honest I'm not a very good healer that's why I stopped healing because I had this problem where everyone else was okay and I died because I was healing everyone else but myself here our warrior dies and I combat res him he dies again <laughs> so it was a bit unfortunate you know but whatever um, but here's the thing, <clears throat> this is going to be unique because I'm not going to talk at all. I'm just going to leave the rest of the video here and you can watch it and you can tell me what I'm doing wrong because I have no idea what I should be doing, right? I just went in, I'm like, okay, I need to hot people and then this and I'm developing the tactic as we go. So I had no prior knowledge to for this dungeon, what I should do, what I'm supposed to do. And I I think I only have four pieces of restoration gear. The rest is just boomkin gear, right? So I have a ton of crits. I have a lot of haste. I don't have any mastery at all. I have very low spirit and stuff like that. But we did three gold, you know. Um, what are they called? Medals. So I suppose it was okay. But... I feel like there is a lot more I could do, that's why I, I'm doing this video. I'll just leave it here, I might put in some music, I'm not quite sure. But I will leave it here, you, you guys can watch it, and you can give me tips, because I would love to get better, you know, I would... I You know, it's enough for some gold medals, but it might not be enough for the other gold medals, so I really want to get better. And, you know, generally, better as a restoration if we need a third healer on uh, any boss in the future. So sit back, enjoy, and relax. Thank you. 